let us begin. Hello everyone and welcome to BHD Studio. Today we'll be doing an unboxing of two camera bags that uh, were just sent to me. I'll just grab the box here. From this band right here, from Oberworth from Germany. Can you hear my voice? Uh, they reached out, uh, Moritz, thank you so much for reaching out. They have uh, a line of bags called the Hydroline. Hydroline. They have Hydroline bags that are very Leica centric. They they have an M, Q, and an SL series, but I looked through their catalog and I asked Moritz, can I check out these two bags instead? And Moritz said, sure. And so, thank you so much for accommodating me. I will eventually review one of the Hydro bags, but I'll leave the links down below. I think I like the SL in the medium size, but these are the two bags and they're kind of on the extreme end. One is quite small, one is quite large. So let's start the unboxing now. All right, so um, I have not looked at this as you can tell I hope you guys appreciate me not looking before so that I'm surprised I'm, I'm as surprised as you as I look at it um, oh it looks like there's a box within a box oh those Germans look at this the, the, a box within a box so just give me a second here do not cut the bags do not cut the bags here we go so all right, so first of all, what do we have here? It looks like we have some nice dust dust bags here from Oberth. These are really thick too, like, but these are always nice for storage, for long-term storage, as well as for shipping. And ooh la la, look at this bag here. All right, so I have a feeling they put the smaller bag in the bigger bag. So this is the first bag here, and this is the Weekender, what's the, Name here, it is the Weekender Nelson in the medium. So they're small, medium, and large. So you can tell quite how quite large this bag is. We'll look at it in detail. And this is actually in the dark brown. I kind of feel like um, luggage travel because this is going to be for carry-on. But you can see a little secret slot in here, which is why I wanted to test out this bag. But inside here is another bag that I wanted to test out. And then here is this little bag. So it's like the opposite. It's probably one of their smaller camera bags. And then this is one of their, their larger ones. There is a large version, it's quite a bit larger. This is the medium. And then here is this um, photo backpack sling. Yeah, I mean, you guys know I've been reviewing sling bags for a long time. Some are like non-camera sling bags, but I've kind of modified them so I can put smaller cameras like a Leica M or a Fujifilm X100 or the X-Pro and kind of slip it in. But this is specifically meant for cameras and one of their smaller bags, but it's the most premium sling bag that I would have re reviewed up to this point. So this is a, a $649 US retail. And so, yes, it's quite expensive, but there's a reason for it. Because of the materials, they use premium full grain uh, German cowhide here uh, on the construction, as well as they use premium hardware, and we'll look at that very shortly, as well, premium build quality, and it's all made in Germany. And you know, those that are buying these, because it's part of the red dot edition, you're probably buying this for your Leica Q3 which is gonna be like $6,000, or like an M11 or M10R, which is gonna be eight or $9,000. And so, you know, spending $650 for a sling bag, if you're in the Leica ecosystem, is not exorbitant. It, it, it's reasonable within that ecosystem. But if you have an X100, I mean, I still say, uh, if you want something premium, uh, then, you know, you're, you're, you're getting what you pay for, but you don't need to spend this kind of money to get a decent sling bag. But if you want all leather, I haven't, I'm just trying to think, I was looking online at all the major manufacturers and the closest brand that I would say in terms of like making premium, good quality sling bags that I personally like is probably Wotencraft. And yet even their bags are quite different from the uh, Oprah's. And this is one of the bags I was really interested in testing out. And then this weekend you're here, and this is basically gonna be a carry on when I get on a plane and be able to carry camera equipment, but as well as to have other things on the inside here like packing cubes and having maybe two or three days worth of clo clothing. And like the name suggests, Weekender. So if I am going away on the weekend with Camera Girl up to Whistler or something like that, I could just throw this in the back of the car and this is specifically meant for carrying camera gear and just weekend stuff. So let's first start off with this uh, 
backpack camera sling. First things first is um, when it comes to, let me just get rid of this packaging here. All right, so let's look at the first hardware piece that I was saying. Now this is called the Cobra Pro Style Buckle by Austria Alpine. And so those of you that are into bags will know this buckle here. It's a high-end buckle. The way that you unbuckle is actually, uh, first thing is you cannot open it by just pressing one of the buckles. The way you do it is you have to push this in and then you grab the tabs and then it comes open like this. And this is considered uh, an industry standard, like one of the best buckles that you can have where whenever you have this around you that there's that this there's no chance for this to accidentally open up you can sort of see the the on the sling when it attaches to the bag the quality of both sides so the buckles on the one side and then here it has like a cotton based strap system here so let's just I'm gonna quickly put this on my back so you can see all right, so you can quickly see how I'm gonna set it up here. So, all right, so this is from the front, and then here, I'll put it on my back. You can see what it looks like on my back. There you go, can you see that? So on the website, it doesn't give you the exact liter size, but they do give you the dimensions, and I know how to do the math. So the interior dimensions of the main compartment is approximately four liters, but if I do the external, like the dimensions of the outside of the bag, including the two side pouches here, it works out to seven liters. And so um, I would say the size in here is anywhere between maybe five and a half to six liters. So let's just look inside here. All right, and what is this here? Oberworth and just I guess warranty information and things of that nature and then they have two little dividers in here but let's just leave the dividers out and this is the size inside here so let's put the M10R in here just to give you an idea of about the size so easily you can put here so let's just say we have the M10R so we have the M10R with the uh, with the 28 F 28 Simicron and the and the lens hood inside here, which takes up less than half the overall width here. And then let's put another one of these in here. Okay, so another one in here. So in here I have a 35 Simicron in the case, and I can fit that on the edge here, like that. And then finally, here is my M7 with the uh, TT Artisan sort of imitation Cimarron 28F 5.6. And that'll go here. So let's just take this off. Here we go. Beautiful buckle. Opens up. And so I'll just show you inside. Going across, you could see M10R with the 28 with the hood. And then the M7 with a very, very flat profile lens and then a 35 F2. So uh, this gives you a good idea of how much you can put across this entire bag here. So that's pretty much filled up in the main compartment. And then you still have two little side compartments here where you can put, oh, it's a lot deeper. It actually kind of curves. How do I explain it? It actually kind of curves. You can see my hand in here. It actually curves forward and it kind of makes its way into the front here. So there's a little front pouch in here, and they say you can put your phone. I personally wouldn't put my phone in here, but here is my iPhone 13 Pro, and that easily kind of fits in the front here, but I would probably put filters or uh, things of that nature, and maybe even put filters and stuff on the side. So let's just grab. So here I have a, a battery case here, so this will easy fit in the side pocket here, and still, it actually fits, it actually kind of curves to the front here. And then I can put my little EF X20 flash Fujifilm in here. And this should still close, I think. Yeah. So both those fit on the side. And then there's another side here, which is about the same size here. No, it's a little bit smaller than this on the other side here. So maybe put some filters or something on this side here. And if you notice, when I open up the main compartment here, let's just open back up again here. Uh, they do have this top flap here, and up here, there, these are two little memory card slots. Now, personally, I wouldn't use the memory card slots, and I would actually rather see in the top here, maybe like a mesh zippered pocket, and you could put stuff in the top here. But if you do that, then it does kind of encroach upon the space here. So if anything, uh, Oberworth, if this was even slightly taller by like maybe 
like an inch or two, and then you had like a mesh pocket, it would obviously make this a little bit bigger, but you know, I think that would make this top flap a little bit more useful. And then on the back half, let me just take some of the stuff out of here. Yeah, and then the back section here, there is a zippered, there is a zippered section that you would probably put your wallet, your passport, your cash or whatever. So it's hidden and covered inside here like this. And so let's just uh, put everything back in again. So in general, as I always say, I would carry one camera around my neck and then my extra gear. So again, so M7, extra lens and a little point and shoot, 35 Ti on the side here. Or I could put, what else can I put in here? I could put one of these Japan camera, Japan camera film canisters in here. So you could put quite a bit in here, right? You got a body with a flat lens, you have an extra lens, and then you have a point and shoot, and you have some film. And remember, you still have these side pockets, so still put quite a bit in here. So it does feel like it's about maybe a five liter. Well, the, the, the main compartment here is four liters, and then the two little side ones maybe add an extra liter of extra space. And then the back has this kind of this mesh to absorb your sweat. Again, you have this high-end uh, Cobra uh, buckle over here. So let's just put this back on like this. And so this is probably how I would shoot with it if I was out and about. And then I would have my my M10 like this, and then have this on my back while I'm out and shooting. And then when I need anything, I would just grab this, open this up here like this quickly, and either I'm changing bodies, changing lenses, uh, grabbing my point and shoot. You know, again, I probably wouldn't use these, but if you do, you could put your memory cards up here. But again, a little zipper pouch up here would probably be more useful for me. And let's just see how quickly I can grab, yeah, I can quickly go here, grab, uh, grab my flash, or grab extra batteries or filters or whatever. I don't think I put anything on this side, but yeah, you can put stuff on this side here. Quick access, and then you still have your interior pocket zip where you put your wallet, and then on my back, you see it like this. So super excited about this um, this photo backpack sling. Very nice, fully packed out. So now let's uh, take a look at the Weekender. All right, so the Weekender, this is gonna be a lot harder video to, uh, a lot harder to show because it is quite big here. And so the reason why I wanted this bag was, uh, oh, there's still more hardware stuff. Let me just uh, remove some. And then here you have a little clip in the middle so you can attach the two sides. Nice premium leather, both the bags, really nice premium leather. And this is in the brown, it also comes in black. And the reason why I wanted this bag was because I travel a lot and you cannot check in your camera gear with the lithium ion batteries with all my battery packs with if you know if you have a drone or if you have any wireless microphones anything that uses batteries you have to carry it on including your laptop and your iPad and stuff like that so I always have this issue of I need a bag that can carry all my technology as well as my camera gear and maybe like an like one or two days of clothing because you know if your check-in bag disappears then you might not have access to underwear or an extra shirt or an extra pair of pants. Or if you don't want any check-in and you only want to carry on and basically, you know, on a two or three day trip, which I do have coming up uh, in next month, it is nice to have a bag like this that you can easily carry it in and then put it even in the overhead or by your feet, knowing that all your gear is secure. And so this upper section here, according to Oberworth's website, the upper section, so the whole bag is 25.65 liter with the interior module being uh, 7.2 liters. So where is the interior module? Well, from the inside, okay, here's, here's your main strap here. So if you wanna carry it over your shoulder, but lots of space in here and beautiful red in color. There is a little laptop sleeve over here. Let's just see if it, um, yeah, it doesn't have, it's, it's not floating, so I would still recommend to put your laptop or your iPad in its own case, but there is a dedicated section for your laptop just right over here. Nice leather clasp here as well. And then on the other side, there's another nice little zippered section. This is probably where if you wanted to put your ID, passport, things like that, more secure items, put it on the inside. Lighting is really nice on the inside, and on the bottom here is gonna be where your camera gear is, but the way you access it is from here. Look at, look at that, from this little side, this little side pocket. So, if you open it up, and you pull it out. Look at that. All right, so let's open this up here. 
So it looks like it's Velcroed. All right, so here you go. This is the entire interior, 7.2 liters, and it's very symmetrical and straight, which is great. And they give you these little extra tabs as well, these extra little dividers. And so this is how this looks like. So let's just start putting stuff in. Um, it's not that deep. You can see here in the first section, M10R with the 28 with the lens hood is on, and this section here can zipper open. So if you want access without taking this whole thing out, you can for this first section. All right, so let's just start filling this up and see what happens. I can even squeeze two more here. So I can squeeze the, the 35 Cron in its own case and the wide angle converter, the GR3, the 35 Ti, M7 with the 28 Sumeron imitation and the M10R with the 28 F2. And that all fits. Velcro shut, so it's all like this, but again, on the end here, you can't open up the zipper, so if you want access to it while you're transporting, which I rarely do, once I pack it away, I don't plan to see the gear until I get to my destination. Now here's the bag again, this is the hole that you put this in. So let's put it back. There we go, so it's back in like this, and here is the flap open, and as I mentioned here, you can open this up like this, and access this camera here, or you just close it up like this, and there you go. There is the Weekender with the insert, and it does come with the insert for the um, the medium size, and the large is quite a bit different. I think it's like, what is it, 42 liters for the large version, and that one actually zippers open. It's so big like this. I think it's a, the insert is 12 liters, and so the whole bag is, is 42 liters. This is 25. They have little feet on the bottom here, Look at that, there's little feet, but there's tape on it. So I gotta remove all the little tape. All right, so all the little feet, the tape has been removed, and lots of space up in here for, if you have any like packing cubes and such, you can definitely put it all in here. So enough for, I would say, maybe three or four days of travel, right here, take it to the airport, or if you are going on a shoot or something like that, where you need gear that's gonna be stored away while transporting, so obviously access to the gear isn't gonna be easy, but that's not the point of this bag. This is to basically pack it, keep it safe and near you and secure, and then when you get to whatever your destination, then if you have a sling like this, then you can use this, or this could be your carry-on, which and actually, uh, if you may have noticed, here you can see, see this is dark brown, and this one here is black. And you're thinking, well, why did Taki, why didn't you match the two? Well, I wasn't necessarily planning to use these two in tandem. Uh, I may use this as a carry-on, but again, I don't necessarily want my camera gear on me. Usually what I have around me, it's more about like passport cash and you know headphones and things like that, which I could probably use this for as well, but this is more about when I get to the destination and I need to, if I want sort of a small carrying solution, this, uh, this sling will be perfect. And then when I get on the flight, then this is what I'm gonna carry on onto the flight. And this is expandable. They have some kind of a locking system here on the end. You can see here, basically pull this up and it loosens, comes through the loop, and now this expands like this. And I guess you basically can loop this back like this. And now you actually have extra space, see that? Now the bag is longer. And this is where you would use the uh, the, uh, the strap here, but also you need the extra space in your, so instead of it being like this, it's basically up like this. So you probably gain an extra couple of liters by doing that. And so let's just put this back again. Cool locking mechanism. There you go, so now it's back. And let's actually just put the strap on here. Let's just, right, so like the sling, this is a nice uh, cotton, like a ribbed cotton strap with beautiful polished hardware, but as well as a nice leather a shoulder pad here to distribute the weight a little bit nicer. So let's just clip this on. Here we go. So this here is the strap here. So again, if you're going to the airport and you want to carry this style, so not, not a backpack, you have these big handles here so you can put stuff down quickly like this, but as well to have a strap as you're walking through. This is, this is gonna be a lot of fun to test out. So, so obviously this is not the type of bag I'm gonna be using all the time. Oh, also there's, looks like there's two, there's an outer zip, oh I see, this is a pass-through. 
See that? So this is a pass-through. So if you do have roller luggage, you put that through the pass-through, and then you still have a little section in the front here. Brochure, a little front section here to put stuff that you don't necessarily worry that you're gonna anything's gonna get stolen. Because remember, you do have the two inner pockets as well. But like this here. But if you do have carrying needs like me, like you do travel a lot and you do have one bag that you want to throw in all your camera gear as well as all your electronics and maybe a day or two of clothing, Weekender, perfect name. And I have seen other brands try to make bags of this style. So this is a 1049 so it's over $1,000, quite expensive, but considering the amount of leather you get, and if you do look at luggage from other manufacturers, especially like other German brands like Remoa, you, you know that their bags are a lot more expensive than this, and they're less elaborate, but having this specifically for photographers, there is a black version, this is the dark brown. Uh, making bags like this, uh, for photographers and as well as premium sling bags like this, uh, I'm really excited. So this is kind of like another level that, you know, above the other brands that I'm used to reviewing, Walton Craft, Billingham. Uh, this is going to be great. For those of you that want bags like this, now you know bags like this, like this exist. So let's just kind of put both of them on here. So here we go. There's this one here. And now I have this bag here like this. There you go. Well, maybe I wouldn't carry it like this. Maybe at the airport, what I would do is put this behind me and then put this in front of me like this. So this is probably how I would carry it if I was going to be using both these bags at the airport. Like this. What do you guys think? And then like this. Alright, so thank you so much uh, Moritz, thank you so much Oberworth for sending me these bags to check out. This is, again, just my, f my unboxing and first look, but I definitely have to test these bags out in the field. This is going to get probably way more time as I often am out and about with Camera Girl on my days off. And oftentimes I don't want to carry a bag too big to carry too much gear. And then I do travel quite a bit, as I mentioned, I do have a trip coming up at the end of the month. And so hopefully I can fit everything that I need in here without having to check in. So that's my goal. So look for that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'll be posting stories and such on these bags. I also have discount codes down below. So if you're interested in these bags, go check out the website. Uh, I'll give you the discount code down below. You will get 10% off of any of your purchase. So these bags are premium. So again, you are paying for the quality of build. You're paying for quality of materials, full grain leather, as well as quality of hardware. They're using premium hardware in these bags, but you will get 10% off by using the code down below. So thanks for watching and happy shooting. Peace.